Yo, alright everyone, it is Lewis from the Rovers Overseas Mafia, back with another match day vlog. My last vlog came, actually, was probably when I went to Italy when I did an AC Milan vlog. So it has been quite a while. Uh, there's a few vlogs on channel done by Jacob and Millie as well, and I think there's one by Alex, if you all want to check them out as well. But today Rovers are playing Bristol. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it, playing Bristol. Is there help? I'm expecting today, not really really too much. I'm thinking it's going to be a quite tight game, either 1-0 or either way or a 1-1 one, one draw. Uh, that's my prediction anyway for the game. I could be wrong. It could We could get battered. We could batter them. Uh, line-up's a bit different. Travis isn't in right-back because Britain's injured. So it's sort of bad that we didn't bring in a full-back. I think one, another right-back. Um, I think we would have had a 10 out of 10 window nearly. Uh, George Hurst, first start for Rovers. So it'll be interesting to see what he can do. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it against Bristol. Um, Bristol was pretty much a mid-table team in this lead. So yeah, I'm going to go down to Ewood Park. But yeah, hopefully I see you guys around there. Uh, I did see someone in the place I worked yesterday who actually recognised us from the channel. He's come all the way from Ireland to um, see this game. So hopefully we get three points for him and uh, for the lads. So yeah, come on Rovers.
just got back home from the match and as Will from the Inbetweeners says, that was fucking dreadful. We were lucky to get two goals. We were lucky to even get one, I thought. I thought we weren't in it from the get-go. Uh, the first half were awful. The goal were well taken, a good pass um, crossing by Wyman who just pretty much destroyed Pickering down that left-hand side all game. I've really not rated Pickering this season at all. Uh, I think it's bad that we didn't recruit fullbacks in uh, apart from Britain we needed another right back as well because we won Brown out I think that's a bit of a mistake looking at it now because we don't have a right back cover we have Travis playing right back who did shocking today as well as a right back he's not a right back he's better in midfield but then I've heard a lot of people saying he's not been good enough this season so far which um, I have to disagree on that I think he's been a good uh, player for us when he's in the midfield in the right position um, but yeah, players just playing anywhere. Carter got man at match. I don't know why, how on earth that happened. Um, thought he was the worst uh, out of the centre back pairings today. Um, just kept doing shitty balls into the box, going straight into the keeper's hands. Very, very poor. Um, fair enough to Bristol though. They came, they had a game plan, they matched that game plan. They knew what our game plan were and the works was very well. They deserved the three points in the end. Um, I don't know what went on for their third goal. Um, Kaminsky made a world class save and then um, ref boys whistle or something, then it goes in net and then it's not given, then it were given. So a bit of confusion. I don't have a clue what that were about. So that'll be interesting to see. Uh, Dolan coming on, getting a goal, which is good for him because he does get a bit of hate, but I understand the hate as well recently because he is a bit of a greedy git and needs to pass, which I thought he did do today. I thought he passed it a lot more. Um, Diaz getting another goal as well, nice to see. But I don't think we deserved any of them goals, if I'm honest. I think Bristol deserved to win uh, comfortably against us. I thought them goals were quite okay. Adun uh, coming on off the bench looked absolutely shocking today. Um, but the players coming off the bench, Dak going off at half-time, I could understand because he couldn't get his ending game or else. He looked really frustrated. But taking edges off as well, or two probably created, most creative players both going off. Um but yeah, I thought Buckley changed, uh, well, didn't change again. I thought Buckley were quite good coming on. Dolan were all right coming on as well, but I would have rather kept uh, Hedges or Dak on, at least one of them as well, uh, to go a bit more creativity. But I thought, what a boring game. You're probably watching this vlog. And you probably thought, fucking hell, it's just a game of corners, because that's pretty much what the first half were. It was just corners after corner all the time. No real good chances. And the um, I think the only counter-attacks when they did get the goals, he's counter attacks the only chances to create, because apart from that, it was just a game of corners, pretty much, I think Bristol must have got like 10 corners or something, uh, we had a few, but the chances we created, they were just out of nothing really, um, didn't think we deserved them, I uh, thought we were just really shit today, uh, I feel for fans who travel a long way to come um, and watch this shit, because it's just, they weren't good enough, we're too inconsistent, the inconsistency of his team is dreadful, because and my mate was telling me that we he went to Blackpool, I didn't he weren't able to go on, I didn't watch it. He was telling me we were a minute at Blackpool and now we're doing shit again and then it's the same what we're watching each week. It's too inconsistent, there's no urgency half the time. The passion weren't there today, which is shit to see. But yeah, I'm going to Wigan away uh, on Saturday. Hopefully we can get uh, a point or three points, change it around. But every time I've been, it's been a shit game and we've not won there when I've been six fucking times. But yeah. That's it for me. If you enjoyed this vlog, make sure to leave a like and go support the channel and I'll see you all now. Later.